बायोलॉजी के ऑनलाइन क्लास में आपका स्वागत है आज का टॉपिक है क्लास ट्वेल्व का चैप्टर थ्री ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन के इस फर्स्ट पार्ट में प्रस्तुत है मेल एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम तो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज ह्यूमन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ह्यूमन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इंक्लूड्स थ्री पार्ट प्राइमरी सेक्स आर्गन दैट इज टेस्टिस सेकेंडरी सेक्स आर्गन दैट इंक्लूड्स डक्ट सिस्टम एंड एसोसिएटेड ग्लैंड एंड द थर्ड वन इज द एक्सटर्नल जेनाइटेरिया आर पेनिस दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द टेस्टिस एंड दिस पार्ट इज एपिडिडाइमिस फ्रॉम एपिडिडाइमिस ए ट्यूबुलर स्ट्रक्चर एराइज दैट इज कॉल वास डिफरेंस वास डिफरेंस ज्वाइन टू एजाकुलेटरी डक्ट एट द पॉइंट ऑफ सेमिनल बेसाइकिल वेयर a tube from seminal vesicle added to vas deferens and then the tube is called ejaculatory duct ejaculatory duct joins with a tube that comes from the prostate gland and is converted into urethra urethra extended to the penis now the description of uh, this uh, male reproductive system the first one is the testis it is located in the scrotal sac or scrotum outside the abdominal cavity uh, this is very important in the mammals because scrotum provide 1 2 3 degree less temperature than the body temperature and it helps to mature the sperms each testis has about 250 compartmental parts that is called testicular lacus each testicular lacus has 1 2 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubules in which sperms are produced by the process of spermatogenesis each seminiferous tubules is lined on its inside by male germ cells and sertoli cells sertoli cells produce nutrient that helps to developing sperm and male germ cells undergo spermatogenesis and form spermatozoa or sperm the interstitial space contain small blood vessels and interstitial cells are leading cells leading cells secrete male sex hormone androgen testosterone is one of the most important hormone this is the uh, internal structure of testis now this is the structure of seminiferous tubules uh, you can see in this is uh, inside a lumen where the sperms are floating and the various steps of the spermatogenesis are shown here that i will describe during the process is spermatogenesis later the duct system of the male reproductive system uh, after testis the second important structure is epididymis it stores it is a storage and maturation area of a sperm and uh, it is divided into uh, three parts uh, that part that uh, and uh, the first the head joins the vas deferens and uh, next later on it is uh, jointed with the cap of the testis ya yeah, superior aspect of the testis it means from the superior part of the testis it is extended up to the vas deferens upon upon ejaculation the epididymis contract expelling sperm into the duct difference are duct difference are vas difference the next one is the vas difference it is a single tubular structure it is arise from epididymis and it is extended up to the seminal vesicle then ejaculatory duct vas difference receives the uh, secretion from the seminal vesicle and then converted into ejaculatory duct ejaculatory join the duct 
coming from the prostate gland and is converted into urethra and the last one is the external genitalia or penis associated glands of the male reproductive system there are three important glands seminal vesicle prostate gland and bulbo urethral gland or cowper's gland seminal vesicle the first one it produces seminal plasma which uh, mix with the sperm and is converted into semen it means semen uh, is uh, includes seminal plasma and sperm are spermatozoa seminal plasma contain fructose that provide energy fibrinoja it is a type of protein that turns semen into bolus that can be readily propelled into the vagina and the third one uh, chemical is protease glandin prostaglandins that decrease cervical mucus viscosity and stimulate reverse peristalsis of the uterus so that sperm move forward and reach to the fallopian tube prostate gland prostate gland provides an alkaline fluid that can protect sperm from harsh vaginal acids it includes citrate that is an energy source proteolytic enzyme that act as a anti coagulant in the semen and was coagulated by seminal vesicle secretion which helps the sperm begins their journey once inside the vagina and the next one is the bulbo urethral gland or cowper's gland these are located on either side of the urethra and secrete clear lubricating fluid uh, this is all about the male reproductive system now the female reproductive system the main parts of the female reproductive system are ovary fallopian tube uterus or womb vagina or birth canal and the fifth one is the external genitalia or vulva this is the structure of female reproductive system you can see two ovary on either side that is pinkish in color and uh, release ovum uh, the ovum released by ovary is received by the fallopian tube there are three parts of the fallopian tube the first one is called infundibulum then ampulla then isthmus and then it is a u shaped uterus the uh uterus is lined by uh, three layers muscular layers external layer is called perimetrium middle one is called myometrium and the inner one is called endometrium endometrium undergoes cyclic changes during menstrual cycle while the myometrium exhibit strong contraction during delivery of the baby vagina it is called also birth control birth canal and the external genitalia vulva consists of mons pubis and labia majora and labia minora so this is all about the female reproductive system and also all about the reproductive system uh, now <clears throat> thank you in the next video i will explain the other parts of the मेरे सारे रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम